So we are doing the thick and thin loop this time. Um, my sample is a little different than how it usually looks because I use, a, use more of a worsted weight with a sport weight because that's all I had at the time. Um, but to really get the contrast, you'll want a bulkier yarn. So I got this one. This one's still not quite a bulky. It's, um, it's like the in-between. It's called a medium or Aryan. Um, and then I actually do have a lace weight here. This is a zero. Uh, this would be considered a four. So it's going to create that contrast. And then you'll also want to use a bigger hook, the one that works best for your bulkier yarn. Um, I am using a 11 here, which is an eight millimeter hook. And so I already did my foundation chain. Um, and to do a chain, you just yarn over and pull through the loop. And you'll want to make your chain as long as you want your piece to be, um, plus one because we're doing single crochets. So to do this, you're going to skip your first chain right here and then go into the second one and just stitch all the way across. So single crochets, you just go into the loop, you'll yarn over, pull that through. Now you've got two on there, yarn over again and pull through both of those loops. And you just do that all the way across. And really with this pattern, you're just doing single cro crochet the whole way through. The only difference in this pattern is that you're going to change colors. And I'm going to do two rows of this yarn, and then we're going to switch to the other yarn. So then at the end of the row, I'm going to chain one and turn the piece and we're going to work back the other way. So at the end of this row, I'm going to change my color. So we're doing two rows of each color yarn weight. Now to change the color, I'm just going to do this much of the single crochet. So I'm stopping at the point where I have the two loops on my hook. Now I'm going to pick up the other color yarn, our lace weight here, and pull it through those two loops. And because this is actually at an end, I can just tie a knot between these two and then weave in my ends at the end. Or if you were like in the middle of a piece, 
when you changed your color. So like if you were doing like a project that makes a picture, you can take and stitch it into the piece. I gotta do my chain one here, I was almost forgetting that. And then I'm gonna go into these. So just like before, you're doing your single crochet. So I'm showing how you do that. Um, and then you would just trim it also. And then you do two rows of your thinner lace weight. And if you really wanted to, you could probably change it up and do even more of the lace weight. Or if you want the bulkier yarn to, to show up more, you can do more of that. It just depends on how much area you want each one to take up. And then here we are at the end of our row. I'm going to chain one and turn. And then you stitch across here. And since this is such a fine one, this is actually the crochet thread that I'm using that is used often for lace. There's also lace weight that is more like a yarn that you can use too. And this is actually where I wanted to change my yarn, so I'm just gonna do the two loops, stopping there, and I'm not cutting my yarn so I can use it again later. Um, and then I would pick up my bulky yarn here. And then tangled here. Then I would continue to stitch across this. So these are going to be harder to kind of see where you're stitching, but just want to be careful to get both of your loops, the front and back loop.
and it turns out really neat. I'll show you when I get here at the end of the room. Um, and if anyone has any questions on how to get started with crocheting, how to do elements of this stitch, changing colors, more about yarn weights, um, feel free to post it in the comments. I will answer any questions you have. And I also had posted with our instructions and a Spanish translation. Um, I did use Google Translate, so I don't know how accurate it is because I do not speak Spanish. Um, I did look up the translations for crochet terms, so those should at least be accurate. Um, I could not find a video or a um, actual post of this particular pattern so that I could provide that resource. But this turns out really neat. Um, and maybe at least watching the video can help even if you do not understand the English or if it's just not your preference. Um, and I hope my translations kind of help too. Um, and like I said, you could add extra rows of the red or your lace in if you wanted it to stand out a little more. But yeah, any questions, any other comments, uh, feel free to add it in.